What's up creators? Imagine a world where your designs flow effortlessly from idea to product while that world is here. Today, I'll show you the magic of the My Designs Chrome extension integrating flawlessly with Midjourney. So get ready to streamline your digital or print on demand products workflow like never before. Let's get started. All right, so I'm over here on the My Designs Chrome extension in the Chrome Web Store. And as you can see, you can simply open up Chrome, and I believe you can do this on Microsoft Edge or Brave as well, but open up the uh, extension, and I'll leave a link to this in the description of this video below. So you open up that link, and then you can simply click this Add to Chrome, hit Add Extension, and now that's all you need to do for this, this part. So from here, you can go over to Discord, and it has to be the Discord web version, that's how this works, inside your Chrome browser. So in this case, I went to Discord, and I opened up the Midjourney bot, now what I can do is refresh this because I have the uh, My Designs extension installed. And I'll wait for that to refresh. And you can see now we have My Designs here. So under every single image you generate within Midjourney, um, you'll have the My Designs option basically of saving that image with the click of a button over to your My Designs account. But first, we need to actually link our My Designs account to the Chrome extension, and that's very easy to do. So you can see this little gear icon here. You just click that and it'll ask for a token, an access token. So you can click this link here to go over to your My Designs account and create an access token. Now, if you don't have an account, you can uh, create a free one and go from there. But I already have an account, so I'm gonna go over to my My Designs account, and this is how you can get your access token. So you'll go down to settings, look for auth tokens, click that, and then up here where it says write token name, you can just give it a name, I'll say MD Chrome, MDMJ Chrome extension, and then hit generate token. And now you got a token right here. So you can click into that and it'll copy it to your clipboard. Now I can go back to Discord and just copy paste. So you can right click and paste, I believe, or just control V or command V if you're on Mac. And then click link account. And you can see it's loading down here now. So when that's done, you can see I can actually select one of the My Designs collections that I have created. So that's amazing. Now we have the Chrome extension installed. We've linked it to our My Designs account. Now we can use Midjourney to generate images and then save them directly to My Designs. And there's a few other uh, really cool features which I'll touch on. But first, I want to go back to My Designs. Let's go back to the listings page. You can see under Home, I have the Midjourney demo collection. It's empty because there's nothing here, which is great. So I'm going to go back and find that collection. So I'm looking for the Midjourney demo collection, which you can see it's right here at the bottom. So I'm going to select that and now. I could select any of the file slots within my template within that collection to save these images too. And of course I can give them a file name and a few other things down here. Just while we're on the extension, there's a few things you could turn the My Designs extension off. So if you don't want to use it, you can just turn it off by clicking that toggle button. But if you do want to use it, you just toggle that on. And there's one more really important feature we have. Any of the print on demand products that we have within the My Designs product catalog, you'll find them right here. So it'll generate images at the proper aspect ratio for the print area of each of these products. So you can simply just select one of these products. So let's say it was a sticker. Let me go find a sticker. We need to add a search here. Um, but you can find a sticker, which is here, die cut magnets, bumper stickers. Let's find the die cut sticker. Holographic transparent die cut sticker. So when I add that, you can see it adds the aspect ratio to the end of your prompt. So you don't have to think about what size or what the uh, general dimensions of your image are going to be. You can just put that in. So you can see when I do slash imagine, it automatically has added the proper aspect ratio for that particular product to my prompt, which is great. So I'm gonna actually just turn that off for now because we don't need it, but that's how you can do that. Let me turn this. And now we can go and generate images. I've already generated a few here, so I'll use these as an example, but you can basically run any image you can do in Midjourney and then quickly save it to My Designs. So let me scroll up to, let's go here. I'll take these three. So these are already upscaled, so I'm gonna go find that Midjourney extent, uh, demo co account or collection, select the main file slot and give it a name. So I'm gonna actually call this a, let's see, miniature schnauzer. It is Halloween, so I'll probably put that in there too. And I'm gonna keep this, these the same name. So I'm gonna put that there and then just click this upload button. And you see that's processing, doesn't take long at all. And you get a notification down the bottom right that the image has been uploaded, so that's great. So I'm gonna go through and save the rest of these. I actually need to choose that collection again. 
If you select this collection first before you run your generations, you don't have to keep selecting it. But this is already pre-generated, so that's why I have to do it. And you can do this in parallel. You can go through and run all these. So now we have three images. They're already in my design. Let's go over and refresh the page because we're in the same collection. We were saving these two. And just like that, you can see we have all three of these images right inside my designs, which is amazing. Now you could take these and do like our bulk processes, like select all, go remove the backgrounds of bulk if you prefer, or you can upscale them by 4X, uh, which also increases the base quality. Or I could take these and um, generate mockups in bulk. So I could sell these digital products on Etsy. I could sell them as print on demand products on Etsy or Shopify. There's a lot you can do with my designs, but let's go generate a few more graphics. Um, I'm going to take the digital tumbler wrap approach and I believe I have the aspect ratio saved on my computer. Maybe I don't, but I want to show you an example here. So let's just try like a 3D red cardinal bird. And that's probably all we need. We'll keep it simple and run a prompt. I normally could add the aspect ratio to the end, but I don't have it off the top of my head. Um, if I wanted to sell print on demand products, of course, I could just select those from our catalog here. But I want to see what this looks like. We'll get a few of these. And when that's done, we'll save a few more to my designs. All right, so some of these look quite, quite good. I'm going to take these three. So let's upscale one, upscale two, and upscale three. So the way Mid Journey works, let me go back up to that main image is it starts in the top left and goes right. So this is one, two, three, four. So you can upscale those and we're gonna add a uh, button to my designs extension soon. We could upscale them all at once so you don't have to click through each of those because we're all about just saving you time. So now that I have these, I'm gonna say Cardinal Bird and uh, we're just gonna save them. Keep them the same name. And if you don't name the file, it'll just take like the first 50 characters from your prompt here. And that's what it'll use as the name. But you can see all those are uploaded and saved. So I can come over here, refresh this again. Now you can see we have those all here. And they are 1024 by 1024 pixels, which is great. So now let's say, I'm gonna use these as an example. I'm gonna actually delete the Schnauzer ones. So let me go actions, delete listings, confirm. And just keep these. I'm gonna generate a few more of these birds. Let's do one more prompt. I'm gonna just put sticker in there and see what it comes up with. And uh, we'll let that run for a moment. All right, so that's already done. You can see it's more like a sticker. So I'm actually curious to see how my designs will remove the backgrounds when I use our background removal feature. So I'm gonna upscale all four of these. Let's go back and get that fourth one. All right, so those are saving now. Got one more going. All right, now we need to save these to my design. So I'm gonna scroll back up here. Just save these so instead of you downloading and re-uploading it's just uh, tedious so you don't have to do that anymore you can literally have an idea pop it into mid journey which is one of the best image generation uh, AI tools on the market and then instantly save it to my designs and take advantage of our entire suite of powerful cloud tools to like remove backgrounds vectorize upscale and then create products for print on demand or products for digital or digital products for Etsy. There's endless possibilities you can do with my designs. So I'm gonna show you just a few of those. Mostly this video is just to show you the extension, how to install it, how to link it to my designs. And then from there, everything else is pretty straightforward. But yeah, you can see right here, we got all these images. So let's go ahead and select all. And we go to actions. Under image utilities, there's the remove background feature. And instead of overriding the same image, I'm gonna put it in a different file slot so we can compare. So I'll save it to mockup one, and then just hit continue. So now that's processing the seven jobs, as you can see here, it shouldn't take too long. That's already done. So now let's double click on this and check it out. So you can see how clean that background was removed. And now I could very easily go and actually add these as stickers. So I wanted to show you one more thing. I'm not gonna go through the actual publishing process because we have a bunch of videos on that available under our video training pro uh, tab here. But I do wanna show you um, the bulk mock-up generation. So let's go create images and move over to stickers. Turn on multiple mock-ups, which is available to Pro and Pro Plus users, which you wanna do because then you don't have to do these one by one. So I'm gonna select these mock-ups one more time. And this time, 
I'm gonna change that input file here for each of these. So I want it to be mockup one, uh, which has the uh, transparent background for these images. So let's grab this one and we'll do the laptop as well. And I'm gonna double check though. So up here you can see each of these, I can click it. You can see that one has the proper input file, this one as well. Just click through those one last time to make sure everything is good. And it looks like it is. So let's go one more time, generate mockups. And that won't take too long. And then I will show you those mockups. All right, so that's already done. So now I can go and click on this file slot here, double click it. And just like that, we have high quality holographic sticker mockups. And I click over on the other one, we've got the uh, die cut sticker mockups. And we've got the kiss cut sticker mockups. And again, these are all print on demand products. You can bulk publish with my designs to Etsy or Shopify. And of course we have automated order fulfillment and all that built in. Again, more uh, die cut sticker options with that transparent background, which is actually the sticker we offer. And a few other die cut, or this is the kiss cut sticker. Again, another die cut option and the one on the laptop. So you can see how easily you can take an idea, generate it in mid journey, save it to my designs, remove the background, generate mockups, then go publish this as actual products. Another really popular niche that you could do this with is digital Tumblr wraps that you're selling on Etsy. You can generate them in mid journey and use the tiling feature to make sure they're seamless patterns and then plug them into my designs, upscale them, use the canvas system here to basically fit them to the proper dimensions. And then we have mockups for all those digital tumbler wraps you can do in bulk, which I have available in another previous video. So I highly recommend you watch that. But this extension makes it extremely easy and intuitive to just generate images and save them at the click of a button. But anyway, that's kind of what I wanted to cover in this video. I have a lot more coming soon. We have a brand new canvas system we're about to release at My Designs, which will take everything to the next level, including personalized POD and digital products and a whole lot more. So I'll be sharing a lot more soon, but that's it. If you have any questions, let me know by leaving a comment below. You can find all the information and the links to the Chrome extension in the description of this video. Cheers, we'll talk soon.